Hi, Amber here, and today we're going to do another foundational yoga practice, kind of another um, refreshing spring type of practice today as well, um, with another focus on twists and hip openers. Um, so I hope that you find this um, practice help you feel a little more stretched out, a little more loose, a little more open, and just overall better in your mind and body. So let's go ahead and come over to our yoga mat. Again, um, I usually recommend these things if you have it, some kind of blanket can be nice. It's not a must, you don't have to, um, but it is nice if you can um, to have that. And then if you have a block, that's great as well. Again, completely optional, but if you don't have a block, you know, a couple textbooks, the old phone book, you'll get creative with it. If you have something similar that you want to use in place of it, um, then you can. And if, again, if you don't have any of these things, no worries, so we can still work with it anyway. So let's go ahead and just start today finding our comfortable seat, whatever that is for you. Let your sitting bones root down towards the earth. Let the crown of your head lengthen up towards the ceiling. And then from here, we'll just start to just take a little moment, connect to your breath here. Let's take deep breath in through your nose. Notice any stress, any tension, maybe any lethargy or anxiety or anything like that you might be dealing with at this time. And then big sigh out through your mouth. <sighs> let it loose, let it go, let it release. Hi Murphy, my yoga assistant is here today apparently. Say hi to Murphy. Anyway, from here we'll move into our um, steady rhythmic breath or your four count breath. And just gently breathe in and out through your nose. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Breathe in, breathe out. Just try your best to stay with the steady rhythmic breath throughout today's practice. Maybe inhale, let, exhale, go if you'd like. And as we sit with this breath, just take a brief moment here to set an intention. So, you know, spring is kind of a time of rebirth and renewal. Like the, the earth is waking up. Trees are um, having leaves are coming back on them. You know, flowers and plants and things are coming back into bloom. Animals are coming back out from hibernation. So maybe you can use this practice in some way as a catalyst for you to feel rejuvenated, refreshed, reawakened. Maybe you relight a spark within yourself of something that you're really inspired by or excited about. So trying to um, maybe tune into that energy, um, if you will, if you set your intention for the practice or anything else that feels good to you that you would like to focus on today. And as you stay with this breath and this intention, if your eyes are closed, you can go ahead and open them. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, fingertips lengthen up towards the ceiling. Exhale, take your right hand to your left knee, turn to look out over your shoulder, come into just a little seated twist here. Nice and gentle, nice and easy. As you breathe in, try to really lengthen your spine. As you breathe out, look out over your shoulder. And take one more breath here. Nice detox for our internal organs. Nice little yogic spring cleaning, if you will, or twist. Kind of ringing out, almost like you're ringing out the toxins, any toxins of negativity or self-doubt or anything that might be holding you back. Inhale, look forward, gently unwind from your twist, reach your arms overhead, and guess what? We'll take it to the other side. Take your left hand to your right knee this time, turning to look out over your right shoulder. Inhale, sit you up tall, lengthen. Exhale, to twist from there. Any amount is fine. Just take one more breath here. Inhale, look forward, gently unwind from your twist. So just roll your shoulders up by your ears and roll them down and back. And just do that a few times here, a little shoulder rolls, just kind of waking up a part of the body, releasing any stiffness um, we might be holding in our shoulders. And then just allow your shoulder blades to relax down your back. And just a little head roll from side to side. Just gently slide your chin from side to side, a little half roll here, just on your own. Take your time and go as slow as you'd like here. Just getting into these little kinks or areas of tension in the neck. 
Let it feel good for you. <coughs> Eventually, you'll make your way back through the center, and when you do, just lift your chin um, back to neutral. And then from here, slide your feet behind you. So if you're sitting on a blanket or anything, you can just slide that off to the side and come to your hands and knees for tabletop. Fingers spread wide, shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees with a flat back. Moving right into cat and cow, inhale, look forward, and relax down towards the earth. Tail lengthens up towards the sky for cow. Exhale, draw your navel in toward your spine with your toe and tilts toward the earth, gazing toward your navel for cat. And just continue to float through a couple more of these cat cow movements, gently warming up, waking up your spine. You always put a blanket under your knees here for a little extra support if you'd like. Keep breathing. Make your way back to your tabletop, back to your hands and knees. Sink your seat to your heels. Any variation of child's pose here. So knees can be close together or apart. You might stretch your arms out in front. Maybe you form a little pillow with your hands. Maybe you take your hands to the side, kind of like you're curling up like a ball here. Shoulders relaxed. Find that length in your spine. Continue to breathe in. Breathe out. And just know that you can always come back to this child's pose at any time in a practice. Then from here, press down through the palms of your hands, make your way back up to your tabletop. Crawl your toes under, lift your hips up to the sky down, we're facing dog. And fingers spread wide, shoulders over your wrists, you can take your wrists out a little wider than your shoulders if you'd like. Legs may be straight or you might have a little bend in your knees, so it's up to you. Maybe you walk it out a little bit, bend one knee and then the other, maybe shake your head loose from side to side or front and back, make any little stretches or movements that feel good to you, especially for this first hour dog of the practice. Inhale, lift your heels off the earth. Exhale to bend your knees. Inhale, step your feet forward to meet your hands. Exhale forward, fold your head, hang heavy. And you might keep a little bend in your knees here, especially for this first one, or maybe you start to strain your leg. Hands may or may not touch the floor, no big deal. And again, if you have a block or a book or something, you will place underneath your hands to bring the floor up to you. That's an option as well. Take one more breath here. Now we'll press down through your feet. Inhale, slowly roll all the way up to standing one vertebrae at a time. So your head and shoulders will come up last. And step towards the top of your mat and connect here into Dasava, mountain pose. So feet parallel to one another. You can be close together or up to hip width apart. And really just try to root down and towards the floor through the soles of your feet while also lengthening up through the crown of your head. Shoulders relax down and back, chest lifted and open, navel drawn slightly in. Find really good tall posture here for mountain pose. Take your left hand to your waist, inhale, right arm reaches up and slide it over, side body stretch. Take a breath in, out. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release. Take the right hand to your waist, other side, reach up and over. And take a breath here. We open up along the side of your body. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release it down. Just kind of shake it out a little. Roll your shoulders if you want. Whatever feels good. Remember, this is your practice. Always your practice. So, um, and from here, we do something a little bit different. Um, do a little hip circles. Kind of open up the hips a little bit. So, Stay in your mountain pose, just then bring your hips forward out in front of you and then out to one side and back and to the other side and back. And these can be small or large circles so you can go fast or slow. And you know, you might feel a little silly doing these, but if you're at home, who cares, right? Who cares? We're just having fun with it. It's kind of letting loose, loosening things up, going with the flow. Let's do the opposite direction. Notice if you feel any tension, anything opening up, anything feeling a little bit less stiff, a little more loose. So just, again, let it feel good. And then make your way back to your mountain, your tabletop, or tabletop, to your mountain pose. And then from here, we're going to step out to a wide leg stance. It will look like this. So it'll come to face um, the long end of your mat here. Take your hands to your waist, check that your hips are level and facing forward. You're going to um, pivot on your left foot so your toes are facing forward. Right toes still facing right in front of you. If you look down, um, your 
Left heel should be in line with your right arch. Inhale, arms up to a T. And exhale, begin to reach out in front of you with that left arm. So you can't reach any forward, you can tilt your right hip a little bit to make room and let your left hand fall wherever it falls down your leg while your right arm reaches up. Triangle pose, shoulder stack, chest lifted. So we're really lengthening up here rather than collapsing down. Feeling expansion, really reaching through that hand. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Triangle pose, trikonasana. Press down through your feet, inhale, calm back up. And exhale, release your hands down to the side. The other side will pivot on your left foot, so it's facing forward. Take your right foot out to the side. Inhale, arms to a T, and exhale, begin to tilt into your triangle pose. Continue to breathe in and out. If you want a little more core challenge here, you can even lift your bottom hand just a little bit and resist the urge to collapse here and use your core to kind of hold you into it. Another option. And then press down through your feet. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, release your hands down to the side. And then pivot on your feet so both toes are facing right out in front of you. Take your hands to your waist and put a little micro bend in your knees. You might grab a block here if you have one or a book or whatever and place it out in the center in front of you. Inhale, lengthen your spine, stand up tall. Exhale, hinge at your hips and fold forward. Coming into a wide leg forward fold, you can take your hands down to the floor or your block here. You can keep a little bend in your knees or you might choose to straighten your legs. That is up to you. Feel free to kind of play around with that. And we'll take, from here, we're going to take your right hand to center on the block or the floor right underneath your nose. Inhale your left hand up to your waist. Exhale to look out over your left shoulder. Coming into a little twist here. Optional to stay here, you might extend the left arm. Try to keep your hips and sacrum level. So you can even place your hand kind of on your sacrum, the very lowermost part of your back, to try and help facilitate that. Take one more breath in. And exhale, release your hand down. This time, place your left hand where your right hand was. Inhale, right hand up to your waist. Exhale, look out over your shoulder. And then optional, of course, to stay here or to extend your arm. Modified twisted triangle. Take one more breath in. And exhale, release it down. Let's take a couple breaths here for a moment in our wide leg forward fold. Breathe in. Breathe out. Return back to your intention. What's feeling positive and uplifting to you right now? What feels new, exciting, refreshing at this time? And then inhale your hands up to your waist and slowly make your way all the way back up to standing, taking your time to get there. And then from here, we'll step back up to the top of your mat and reconnect here in Mountain Pose. And from Mountain Pose, let's bring your palms to heart center. Start to root down through your right foot, through your right leg. So not gripping the floor with your toes or anything like that. Just really standing strong and sturdy through that right leg. As you look forward and find a steady gazing point, um, this is called a drishti, just something out on the horizon that you can focus on. And then start to bend that left knee. Place your left heel alongside your right ankle. Optional to stay right here with your toes on the floor, or maybe you try walking your foot up your leg, either above or below your knee. Palms can stay at heart center. You might take them out to the side. This can really help with balance. You can even use a wall here if you're at home and you want to try that. It's a great idea. Maybe you grow your branches overhead. Brikshasana, tree pose. You've got this. Take one more breath in. Maintain that calm focus. Take one more breath out. Inhale, bring your front knee forward. Exhale, release both feet to the floor, release your arms, kind of shake off any tension, shake it off a little bit, let it loose. And then, of course, other side mountain pose. Let's root down through your um, left foot this time, through your left leg. Bring your palms to heart center. Find that steady gazing point to focus on. As you slide your right knee out to the side, heel to ankle. And then, of course, optional to stay here. Maybe you walk your foot up your leg. Whichever hand variation works for you, just play around with that. Tree pose, one more breath in, one more breath out. Inhale, bring that front knee forward. Exhale, release both feet to the floor, release your arms, and just kind of rock and roll, let it loose, shake it out. Come back to your mountain pose. Inhale, sweep your arms overhead. 
Exhale, dive forward, Utanasana, forward fold. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, fold. And this time, you can bend your knees however much you need to. Place your hands on the floor beside your feet. And step back to downward facing dog. Optional, you can stay here. You could go to child's pose if you prefer that. Or if you want, you can lift that right leg up. Come into a three leg downward dog. Really stretch that leg back towards the wall behind you. Find some energy through that leg. And then start to bend your right knee. And slide your knee up so that trying to get your right knee stacked over your left hip. So this is like a little way to open the hips here as well. Where we are at, just take one more breath in. And then exhale, release that foot down to the floor. And then we'll do the other side if, if you want to, if you did that side. Optional, lift your left leg up, stretch it back behind you, feel the energy through your leg. And then start to bend your knee, opening your hip. Take one more breath in. And exhale, release it back down. One more breath in here, downward dog. And exhale, release your knees down to the floor. Sink your seat to your heels. Breathe, child pose. Take a breath in. And out. Inhale, come back up to tabletop. Slide your feet over to one side. From here, we're just going to lower all the way down onto your back. So just gently lower onto your back. Take a moment here. Just let your back relax against the floor. Enjoy it. And then with your knees bent in front of you and your feet on the floor, just let your arms rest to the side and bring your right knee in towards your chest. Place your right foot on your left thigh and slide that right knee out away from your body and open up your hip. Optional, you could stay right here. This feels like a good stretch for you. Or if you want to go a little deeper, if you, if you don't feel a lot of stretch here, you can lift that left foot and with your hand, just kind of reach for your hamstring or the back of your leg. Try to keep both your, or your, both your feet flexed here. So our recline pigeon, let's take a couple breaths here. Notice where you might be feeling a stretch or an opening or release in your body. How can that lead to a release in your mind as well? What are you holding on to that you want to let go of? I want to feel a little more light and a little more at ease. Opening up through your hip as well as maybe stretching areas of your leg. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release that front foot if you haven't already, followed by your other foot. And then do the other side, bring your left knee in towards your chest. Place your left foot on your right thigh, slide that knee out away from your body. Optional, of course, to stay here, or you might lift that front foot and reach for your hamstring. Try to be mindful of your shoulders. Um, they might bunch up a little bit here, that's normal, but try to keep them as relaxed as you're able. Take one more breath in. And exhale, release it down. Release your feet down to the floor, knees still bent in front of you. Just check to see that your knees are over your ankles, arms rest to the side, palms facing down. Well, press your feet into the floor. Inhale, lift your hips up one vertebrae at a time. Lift your lower mid and upper back into our back bend for today. One bridge pose, optional to stay here. If you want, you could um, walk your shoulder blades closer together, clasp your hands underneath you if that feels good to you. Lifting up even a little more, maybe you lift your heels, come onto your toes and just different variations, but it's your practice. Just play around with it, find what feels good for you. And our bridge pose, Let's take one more breath in and exhale, release lower down, upper mid and lower back a little bit at a time. Give your knees a little hug in towards your chest. If you want, maybe rock a little from side to side, just kind of releasing any pressure in your back. And then from here, um, I encourage you to pause this video for about five to 10 minutes, at least five, um, for Shavasana. So you're just lying on your back with your legs out in front of you. You can seem to stretch your body long if you want or rest your arms to the side. If you want to put a blanket over you, anything like that. Just get really comfortable. Let your eyes close. Come back to your natural breath and just let your body sink into the floor. Just releasing any physical effort from your body and just taking this time to absorb, to take in the benefits of today's practice and notice how you feel. And you can just set a little timer on your phone or something for about five to 10 minutes and just really take this time out for yourself. Like you did the yoga practice, you deserve it. You've earned that. So take that time. <sighs> and then 
when you're ready, after, after the Shavasana, you can just bring your knees in towards your chest. Gently roll over to one side into our fetal pose and then mindfully make your way up to your seat. Just taking a few moments here of gratitude towards yourself for coming, taking this time to come to your mat, come to your yoga practice today. Inhale, reach your arms overhead and exhale, palms down to your heart. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I really hope that this felt refreshing to you, maybe opened up some areas of your body and helped you just take some time um, to take care of yourself. So I hope to see you back next week. Namaste.